Hi guys, um, I'm back. My name is Andy for those for all the new people. How you doing? Um, my last video did really well. I'm really excited about that. I have a lot of topics. I think I'm good till the beginning of April. But continue on with your questions and your topics that you want to bring up. Um, I do want to mention the last video, T blockers. I didn't mention T blockers, and T blockers are what blocks your hormones so there'll be less body hair and um way less facial hair but in order to remove your actual facial hair you have to have laser hair removal and you know a good old waxing you know can remove the rest of body hair body hair is normal but facial hair laser hair removal is good okay and um today's topic is going to be about well today's topic yeah when I was asked to do this topic. Um, it's going to be about how, cause oh, for those of you who don't know, that's why. There you go. I was I was asked, you know, what my nationality or ethnicity is, like, and I'm Dominican. And for those of you who don't know what a Dominican is, um, uh, my parents, cause I'm first generation. My parents are from the Dominican Republic. It's a little island in the Caribbean. You know, it shares an island in Haiti. And it's a Spanish-speaking half an island. <laughs> and, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm Dominican. I'm from the East Coast, from Boston or Lynn. City of Lynn, I use Lynn. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm from. And they wanted me to um, describe or how, or in my point of view, how does the Spanish culture or the Dominican culture view the LGBT community? And to be quite honest with you, they don't. They don't view anything at all. They don't acknowledge us. They don't do anything. They're actually in very denial. There are a lot of, um, there are actually like a lot of DL men uh, rather than open, you know, open gay men or women. It's a lot of DL people. But anyways, um, if anything, I think the women are more open about their sexuality than the men are. And here's the way, and here's here's why. Men in that culture are very egotistical and they're very um it's very macho, it's very um you know, uh and oh my arms. Very like, you know, they're men. And it's hard, it, and it's, they, men are really putting a lot of pressure in that community to be that, to be just that, that strong men, you know, persona. And it's, yeah, that's why there's a lot of, like, down low DL men out there. Well, in the Dominican culture. And, um, or in Spain, I can only speak for Dominican's point of view. I know a lot of the Spanish, Hispanic um, community is basically the same. But and and they have kind of the same views, and a, a lot of it is because it, a lot of it's religion, you know. Um, they're mostly Catholic or heavy Christians, but um, in the other half, it's just it's just that ego. So yeah, and the way they view us isn't they don't they just don't acknowledge it at all, and a lot of it's in denial or they just don't speak or they just a lot of a lot of it's just being disowned by your family. So, um, yeah, they don't view us at all. And, um, for instance, um, I was fortunate enough to have a very accepting family, but to be quite honest with you, if I did this five years ago, it would have gone down. <laughs> I, I, I think I would have fought with my family because, I mean, it, it took me moving. Because, let let's be honest, everybody knew that I was not a normal boy. Everybody know. <laughs> it was in the it was in the secret, and um. And it took me moving away from everybody for them to uh, to, to. So yeah, it took me moving to for them to really see me. You know what I mean? And it wasn't so much um. I want to be really clear. When I moved, it had nothing to do with transitioning. Well, that's a lie. It did have. It did it, it did affect it, but it, it it was really more because back home I wasn't happy. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't know what I wanted to do, period. I felt stuck. 
and I think a lot of people who who live in the city that I lived in feel the exact same way. It's just it's just it's just it's just the um it was more of venturing out, but yeah, my me leaving definitely it did it did affect it somehow. But um anyway. But yeah. And in my family I kinda have um a, a bit of a I'm the oldest grandchild and the oldest son and the oldest um everything. I'm first born. So aside from me being a boy, I'm also first born. So again with the whole egotistical side of, of Spanish men and you know the whole macho-ness of it all, it was really I the connection that me and my dad have are completely different than the connection that him and my brothers have. They they have more of a like a male bond, and I'm more closer to my mother than I am to my father. But I love my father very much. If anything, I'm, I'm a daddy's girl. My daddy. But um, it's just a different relationship. You know what I mean? And it's just I think it was really um, awkward for him. To have a son who wasn't into sports, who wasn't into anything but Barbies and things that are pink, <laughs> who are who wanted who wanted to be a girl and has expressed that when she was younger. You know what I mean? Like it's um it's really awkward for him and it's like growing up. I mean, for instance, like I, it me being so different. It that was kind of like. I was disciplined, I would say, because of it. You know, let me fix my hair because it's pissing me off. Okay. I was disciplined, you know what I'm saying? Because I, because I wore, is that a fucking dog? What the fuck? That's a neighbor's dog, I'm sorry. The fuck? Hold on. My bad. Anyways, but I was disciplined for, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was disciplined. I remember this one time, like, um, I was sitting, I was in, like, in the living room, just, like, when I was, like, what, five? I was sitting in the living room, right? And I had, like, because when I was younger, I used to put, like, um, a t-shirt over your head, and that was my long hair, like, long hair, that one, yes. And I would put on some Celine Dion. No, you know, <laughs> your kid, you know your kid is different if he's singing Celine Dion word, for word, and hitting every note on. You know your kid's different, but I was singing it, and I was doing it, and it was like, you know that Titanic song, The Heart Will Go On, where I was like, yes, 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 and then up coming both my parents, I was in the middle of my note, honey, and she, my mom and dad was like, no. <laughs> like, hell nah. Mm -mm. My butt was red that day. Mm -mm. And then there was, there was this other time where I wore, like, um, the, the um, you guys remember this, like, this Halloween basket? It was, like, a pumpkin. I used to wear it, like, on my head, and that would be, like, my, my bun. And, yeah, yeah, no. It was, so basically, I was disciplined because I was different. And just for... Just, I want to like clear the record. My parents, I mean, that's my parents love me very much. You know what I'm saying? It's just they didn't know how to deal with that. They didn't know what was, they didn't know how to deal with it. They didn't. And I don't fault them for that. I don't blame them for that. I just, I, I mean, if, what can you do? That's the only way you can rationalize things. You can't, you can't fault someone for being ignorant. You really can't. So, I want to clear the record of this isn't a bashing my parents thing. This isn't, I'm just letting you know what my experience and what led up for me to, you know, keep everything, you know, because I kind of like buried it all. After that, I stopped with the whole, like, I want to be a girl thing. Even though I wanted to, I stopped because clearly I, every time I spoke about it, it will, I would literally get shut down. You know what I mean? Every time I wanted to, I would literally get shut down. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah.
that that's basically how the whole culture is and i want to be clear it's not it's not the entire culture you know just the majority of it there's uh, they're very accepting dominicans and other spanish speaking people out there that that are very accepting to this lifestyle and and embrace it but then the majority of it really don't but yeah um yeah <laughs> that's me I don't know what else to say. Oh, uh, well, um, this video is shorter than the other one. Hallelujah. Thank God. Jesus. Thank you. I think I got to the point. Um, but, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, please comment, subscribe, like, you know, share. Spread me out to the world, honey. Yes. And, um, and please continue giving me questions and topics to talk about because I... I I can talk about anything. And again, nothing is more taboo. You guys can, you know, ask for advice. That'd be great. And ask for anything. My vlog is your vlog. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will leave my Instagram, my Twitter, and my link down below. Oh, and I'm going to leave the address for both West Hollywood and the Hollywood LGBT Center for those of you who want to transition and don't know where to start or how to do it, this is blah blah blah. I'm going to leave it. I totally forgot to do it in the last video, but I'll do it right now. So thank you so much for watching, guys.